as we approach Christmas, <clears throat> I want to ask where the F is our president? For the past five years, Nigerians have been searching and looking for their president. The man said to have won the presidential elections, not only in 2015, but in 2019. As the years go by, it looks like there never really was a man called Muhammadu Buhari, a retired army general. We saw him during the campaigns. He changed clothes from one traditional attire to another as he went round on his campaigns. He appeared intent on winning and cleaning up the nation. He even had a lawyer and clergyman run with him. Now that man is yet another story for another day. For this Christmas, it's Buhari. In the first year, an alarmed nation watched as he temporarily abandoned work and spent almost 200 days in the UK. He was apparently ill. It was not until a demonstration was staged outside the plush residence he occupied in London that he came back, by which time his right-hand man, Abba Kari, had stamped his notoriety on the affairs of Nigeria. Another story for another day. General Buhari is never seen where he should be. He never participates in discussions because he cannot mentally. Have we forgotten the various video clips where he answers questions with totally unrelated matter? When there's a disaster, he never shows up, perhaps because he cannot. When boys are kidnapped from just outside his doorstep in Katsina, he did not show up. Instead, rather surprisingly, the boys were returned in record time. For an incompetent army and president, this episode rang alarm bells. A setup, probably. That's what I think. Now, a more transmittable strain of COVID-19 is about. Boris Johnson looks knackered from all the goings on, completely changing the nature of Christmas holidays in the UK. Now, that's a leader. Our president, no word. Instead, his presidential task force on COVID, led by one boss, Mustafa, continue to ramble on. They neglect to admit that this virus has had little impact on Nigeria. And the reasons for this should make for scientific exploration. That new mutated virus is in Nigeria already. Has this been properly explained to us? The president has borrowed so much that he now has to borrow pension funds. And guess who supported him? The man he sort of fought for to enjoy further time at the AFDB, the African Development Bank. That's additional. A namesake of one of his blabber mouths. Even then, the president was. Still nowhere to be seen or heard, just press releases. Where was he when the youth were gunned down at the Lekki toll gates? Nowhere to be seen. For days, only to declare war on the youngsters via his police inspector general. The task to speak was left to the three wise men, that's Lai Mohammed, Garba Shehu, and Femi Adishino. The president is now a running joke, except to idiots. Glance at comments made by young Nigerians about him, and it is clear what they think about him, what they think of him. They laugh, they jeer, they poke fun. They have no respect for him, and I don't either. Who does? I think what we should do now is to start to seek a parliamentary system of government with less overheads and a weaker prime minister. The worst cases of presidents have been on show lately, here and in the United States. We don't need this crap and embarrassment. We need solid leadership, transparent, honest, and intelligent. If no one wants to address this very important matter, I do. Another year is upon us, and this joke must stop. Another year is upon us, and this joke must stop. You know, what? one of the things I, I, I recall about this present government and where we started getting it, they started getting it wrong, is looking at Joe Biden, the president-elect in, in the U.S., and how he's meticulously been picking the men who will work with him. And I remember back then, we had to wait for six months. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day... What, the, what, what did we get? The, what did we get, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, it's been, it's been that kind of pattern since then, you know, what, from one disappointment to the other. Mm -hmm from one disappointment to the other, you never find our own president saying something that will give hope or cushion. You know, it's always like, oh, again, nothing. nothing. 
So I agree yeah, with yeah, you. But, but, but when we were voting, or when Nigerians, don't let me use we, when Nigerians were voting for, for the president, they knew he doesn't talk now, didn't they? They're not just discovering that. We believed um, it was an action man. That it was going to change overnight. No, it, it, it wasn't going to change overnight. And, and, and contrary to um, uh, Chuka's position, where he, he didn't want to put in the vice president in the mix, I want to put him in the mix as well. Um, his silence in recent times have been deafening. He doesn't do as he used to. He doesn't speak as he used to speak. He doesn't go to places as he used to go to. Apparently, he see that there is a contagion about uh, or a conspiracy of silence going on at that level. Or maybe he, ha he has been put in a bucket and, or pocketed something somehow. I, I, I don't understand. Whatever the case is, the people are the ones suffering. When people look up to their leaders, and they want some words. Sometimes you may not even have the solution. Boris doesn't have solution to COVID. But you know, sometimes there are things you say, there are some steps you make, and it just provides certain comfort that somebody yeah. is watching or somebody is doing something. We don't get that. So I, 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 I imagine the, the, the Kankara issue, for example, and I had expected. It, it doesn't mean that he's the one to go and rescue them. It doesn't mean... But just some words of comfort that goes to the people who are direct victims to say, oh, the president is doing something about this. Some so assurance. Absolute no. silence. Absolute silence. silence. When and then the three wise men are what? the ones to shooting from all sides and they of do, their mouth. When Nigerians <laughs> were they all, just make things worse. worse. When Nigerians were all over the place in that, uh, you know, once uh, President Muhammad Buhari is elected, a country will change. They cited 1984 and all that, all he did and all that. I was just laughing because I knew that this man just wanted to be a president. Any other, every other thing is an afterthought. Because if you look at um, the 80s, since he left office in the 80s, check through the internet, check through everywhere. This man has no article he has written on anything. Yeah, but he doesn't have to be a writer. He has no contribution on economic issues or social issues. Don't forget he, he, he led has not, PTF. So, so, so having, not, having, PTF. Not, having not really made impact since yeah. he left. He, he had that office, I know, but I don't see him as someone who was ready to rescue Nigeria from the quagmire it was that it is today mm. because the, his presence and his absence are just the same. There is no difference <laughs> why he was in office and now that oh, he's, yeah. why he was not in office and now that he's in office. So Nigeria is just on, on, on a auto cruise. cruise, on auto cruise. You understand? So we have not been able to practically get this country together for anything positive. It's the dimension yes. of the, the silence, as Bolan said, the deafening silence of the vice president that makes it you know, look like we're all just abandoned and on our own and we're the just floating from looking. one point the to the other. The vice president can only really function in the presence of the president, except such powers are delegated to him. Yeah. So you don't expect him to usurp the authority of the president. That will amount to prison. Or the mine in the and, 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 and he'll yeah. be punished. Chuka, I want to speak. Chuka. Yeah, yeah, Evans, you're right, exactly. The vice president can't really, not, but I think that the vice president anyway is not really useful to us in reality. Um, there's nothing he can do. If he wants to talk, it, he, he can he, he can talk and nothing will happen. His importance is actually zero in this government. I sort of think that the death of Abba Kari, um led to the complete confusion going on. Mm. Because before, there was not this much confusion. There was this much wickedness. But it was not so confused. His, his, his absence means that there's nobody to gather what I would call the crooks together right, to together plan the whatever they're planning. Right. You know I, what mean, I mean, you can, you can tell. Yes, Chuka, you I, can tell with the NIN. It's obvious. The, the NIN policy. Yes. One thing you're saying is two weeks. And now, as I yesterday, you're saying, okay, we're extending it. To February. You should have known it, 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 already. It wasn't a well thought through. It, it was wasn't. Not, uh, and decision. then if you look at the, the, what Chuka also said again, the fact that COVID-19, the virus is mutating. And our borders are still open. 
as a, as, as do you as, want them to close the borders again? Well, borders were just open. About 40 After nations have closed months. their borders against they, they, the UK. Uh, okay, you're talking about the, the UK. Yes, the, uh, uh, our, yeah. our, our airports I, are still open. I perfectly open. agree with that. And I, you know these people, just as Chuka said, that mutated variety is already here in Nigeria. Uh, you see, our reaction um, shows the fact that we're not prepared for this. We are just doing a copy and paste situation. Not exactly what it has been doing. declared in Europe, therefore let's declare. Yes. Yeah, we probably just rev up a little, some uh, The second testing. wave is so but artificial. But think about it. Nobody till now told us why the first wave went as it went. Mm -hmm. How Nigeria. come there were no dead bodies on the street across Africa? Yes. Some said, oh, it was because we shut down uh, our borders early. No, they, they shut down sh in Europe. They shut down in America. They still had that same volume mm -hmm. of death in all those places. So what did we do right? Maybe if we know what we did right, we can copy it and we can do more of it uh, today. And the but next we question we should add to that one is that what exactly is COVID? Because Chuka alluded to it in his advocacy that this virus have not been explained to us. We actually don't know what it is. We are just, you Scientifically, know, you can read about science, it. Yes, <laughs> but, but what I want to say, really, is that the issue of the vaccine also. Now, the budget um, has been passed by the legislators. They've added some six billion or there about 60 billion, 500, 500 billion to, to the budget. What for? We don't know. Nobody's challenging them. Um, the vaccine, is Nigeria getting a vaccine again? We're seeing, we're seeing restrictions billion. now. One day, I'm hoping they're not going to say, okay, second lockdown, please, where would the palliatives come from this time? Yeah, the, 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 the portion you mentioned about um, insertion by the National Assembly, that is what they do every year. When the budget goes to them, they slot in all sorts of things all in things. various sections. Some of them improperly costed, some of them probably no drawings, no engineering works, nothing. Mm. They just have an estimate and they throw it. And most of them are actually very, I, I, I don't know the right words. It's they just shouldn't so be sad. there. Shouldn't For most be of there, them, yes. they shouldn't be there at all. But nobody asks them. If and you the, challenge them, they will say they won't current, pass the budget. Your current expenditure is still rising. The thing is, and, uh, and we're being told that Nigeria is in a second recession, isn't it? So it is. but we keep adding to these budgets, and the rich keeps getting, keep getting richer, and the poor people keep you know, struggling for palliatives, and they're the ones being restricted. <laughs> because, I mean, our elites can still fly around in private jets. Capital right. expenditure you know? is on uh, almost uh, where it was at the, the last year. Nothing, nothing so, has changed. So, I mean, and this year, we've not seen any... Viable project. Lagos Ibadan Expressway is still oh, a death trap. Some projects project. are coming up. Uh, the, the president is commissioning something now. in Benin today. Okay. Uh, the largest LPG, uh, uh, I think, reservoir. Uh, it's, it's and then there's a train. Please, you need to you know, take the train from yeah. Lagos Ibadan. There are projects. So. Yeah, so the and people are already it. taking the train. So well, some things well, are happening. Well, there are, there are projects. <laughs> there are projects. But the Lagos Ibadan Expressway that has been under construction since 1998. Is still under construction today. Do I remember? Yeah, but they can argue that there's been the PDP government as well before the APC government, and they didn't. No, finish I, I, it. I'm saying the Nigerian government. I I'm wish, not even talking I, I, about I, I, this I government. I wish there is a, a difference between these two guys. I, I don't see that. It's, exactly. It's a blur line where you can walk in and out. It's just a platform for contesting election. When one party doesn't give you that platform, you cross over to that other party and get the platform. Get so it. the parties are not really different. So the same people who were put in fact, we had a former chairman of PDP become an APC member. We operate one party system. Bit. What we do is during an election, they divide into two. And then, and then after election, after after <laughs> after <laughs> and then after election <laughs> they close ranks. So that is it. <laughs> I am up next after the break.